Hey right. guys. Um, so for a while now I've been wanting to try a goblet with captive rings. So I thought I'd give it a go today. Um, and it didn't necessarily go to plan. So this was my first attempt. So you can see that I mean it's not even a it's not even a goblet let alone got a captive ring. Um, I didn't really hollow the goblet out that much at all um, and I got a catch while I was turning on the outside of it and I didn't have any support and it snapped so lesson learned there so I thought I'll have another go I'm not going to give up and I turned a second one so this is my second attempt so you can see that I get this together so this is my second attempt so you can see that the top isn't exactly square or level um, I put a little feature in the middle there and I got a captive ring but I was finishing it and I snapped it oh no Oh no! So I actually managed to turn a captive ring. I managed to turn the goblet, but again I had no support on the end while I was finishing and I snapped the stem. So attempt number three, I managed to turn a goblet, but this time I got a little bit greedy in terms of trying to turn it too thin and I turned straight through the top of the goblet um, I didn't again I didn't really hollow it out that much at all um, and like I say I went too thin but I thought I'm not going to give up I'm going to use this piece as practice so I carried on and I turned the stem and I turned not one but six captive rings so so although it's not a goblet, I thought I'll use it as a bit of practice. So by now, I think I've kind of got this captive ring thing down so before I show you attempt number four I just wanted to show you a tool I made so this is an old an old chisel that I had lying around and it, I tend to use it for everything from you know hammering out bits of plastic or wood or anything that I need to get rid of to opening paint cans to all sorts it's every now and then I'll put it on the belt sander and give it an edge to sharpen it up a bit but it's not a chisel I don't use it as a chisel so what I did I took it to the grinder and on the grinding stone on the bench grinder I ground a hook on it and this is pretty sharp and I don't know if you can see it's got a bit of an edge on here as well and I made this tool and this is for cutting the rings on the goblets. With that in mind, we go on to attempt number four. Now I took a piece of um, sported conker. So I had some sported conker and I turned a goblet. And I turned it fairly deep. You can see it's almost two thirds of my finger there. And I managed to turn a ring. So there's my sported conquer goblet with a captive ring. So I guess the moral of this story is if at first you don't succeed, try three more times and hopefully you'll get it. Um, but this one 
I got a catch when I was turning, snapped it. This one, I didn't have any support at the end when I was finishing it, snapped it. And this one, I cut way too thin on the actual goblet part and took the top off of it. But I don't see this as three failures. I see this as three ways not to do it. And this way worked. Stick around if you want to watch the video of me making this one. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Please leave a comment. As I say, I try to respond to all the comments I get. And uh, yeah, for now, happy turning.